All right, guys, got back out there. It was a little bit murky today, but not too bad. Doing my second dive right now, so still really early. And you can see a Spanish mackerel swim by in the corner of the screen right there. And so I line up on them, take my shot. I actually thought I missed him at first, and then I noticed that the shooting line was going up. And I realized that I did in fact hit him. So second dive of the day and I already have a fish, so feeling pretty good about things. So with one fish already down, I decided to focus on hogfish. I had missed uh, opening weekend because I was traveling. And so this was kind of my attempt to try and get a hogfish now. And uh, I found a very, very tiny hogfish. So you're about to see him. He's about 10 or 11 inches. Just a cute little guy right there. The thing is though, even though he's far too small to shoot, hogfish do travel in schools and in groups. And so I knew that if I seen a small hogfish, that there was a very good chance that there were going to be bigger hogfish around. And so I really worked that area. So here I am. Um, a little bit different spot, but same general area. And I see another, probably even a smaller hogfish. So I know that there is a school around. Uh, I know there's got to be even more hogfish. Uh, but right now, just none of them are of size. And then I see this one. You can just barely see him over there. He's only about 13 or 14 inches. So I didn't want to spook him, but I did want to follow him to see if he brought me to a bigger fish. And ultimately, he did not. I did not see any hogfish that were of shootable size on this dive. But I did come across a school of Bermuda chub. And a lot of people, if they see a school of chub, they will just swim the other way, ignore them. But the thing is that I've noticed that a lot of fish, like snapper, like to hide out in schools of other fish. So. In the school of Bermuda Chub, there could very well be a mangrove snapper uh, that is worth shooting. And you can actually see one swimming in the school, just like that. He's up top. And uh, there's another one down below. And so it's really, really easy to miss fish like that. Uh, you can see another mang mangrove snapper moving around in the background. So uh, really, really easy to miss fish like that. I just decided that I didn't want to take any of those fish. I was waiting for something a little bit bigger. And then I see something that I wasn't really expecting. It's late in the season for them, but I saw a bluefish. And so I wanted to get one of those before they all disappeared. So I lined up. That was a little bit of a tricky shot because I didn't want to shoot any of the chub, uh, but I ended up getting a stone shot. So I was really pleased with that. And now I am going back for jacks. I end up shooting a yellow jack on this dive. And I want to remind you guys, if you enjoy this content, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'll keep putting out videos of me doing shore dives and boat dives as frequently as I can. Just got a yellow jack, and then while I was cutting him up, I actually spotted an Almaco jack. I put him down. Got a Spanish mackerel, yellow bar jack, an Almaco jack, and then I got Originally it was a whole bluefish, and then it looks like a really tiny, maybe shark or barracuda or something came by and snatched it up. So, all's well that ends well. Appreciate you guys.